Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my firm assists physicians with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to speak about uh, whether a physician should sign a letter of intent. <clears throat> uh, a letter of intent is also known as an offer letter as well. Different employers use a different name for it, but effectively, it's the same thing. So uh, let's kind of go through the job, uh, you know, kind of process. And then once it gets to the offer letter slash letter of intent stage, uh, you know, whether the physician sh should sign it or not. So when a physician is looking for a new job <clears throat> or potentially uh, if a employer reaches out to a physician, they can either do it through, you know, word of mouth from other physicians. Uh, if it's a hospital or healthcare network, most of them employ physician recruiters who then actively search for candidates for open physician positions. Or there are also independent physician recruiters who <clears throat> kind of are a broker. They will find candidates for open positions. They'll bring those candidates to an employer and then they'll get some kind of fee, either a flat fee or sometimes a percentage of what the first year compensation for the physician is. In this case, let's say, you know, a physician has interest from a job. Uh, there'll be an initial discussion with the recruiter uh, or usually the owner of the practice or a director or something, just kind of get an initial uh, feel for whether the physician would be interested or not. And then if that goes well, then it'll likely end up in some kind of site visit. The physician will be, you know, travel to wherever the location is, they'll meet with other physicians, meet with the administration, two of the facilities, probably talk some basic structure of the employment. At that point, if the employer is still interested, uh, you know, one step would be the employer would then offer either, uh, you know, say, hey, we would like you to sign this offer letter or letter of intent before we move forward with providing you an employment contract. They do this for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it does take some time to prepare a contract. And so most smart <laughs> physicians and certainly any big hop, you know, healthcare network or hospital, they have their own uh, legal counsel. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of time to draft an employment contract specifically for a physician. And so most places don't want to go through the time and cost of paying an attorney to draft those contracts unless they have at least some kind of commitment from the physician. And so that commitment is then kind of effectuated through signing the letter of intent. Uh, now, <clears throat> should a physician sign a letter of intent, uh, if, if the employer is going to require a signed letter of intent before moving forward with an employment contract, then obviously the answer is yes. If, if the physician is interested in a job and the employer is requiring them to sign an offer letter, then by all means, sign the offer letter. Uh, obviously, the next question for most physicians is, okay, well, if I sign the offer letter or letter of intent, Am I bound to this employer? Do you know, can I back out or is it kind of a binding contract? Well, in short, no, you can back out. Uh, the, the terms of the offer letter are very basic. Compensation, length of the contract, some benefits, uh, maybe getting into the restrictive covenants, the non-compete, the non-solicit, maybe basic signing bonus, relocation assistance, some kind of compensation productivity that would be a lot for an offer letter but those are kind of the basic terms that end it however uh, once an offer letter is signed and then an employment agreement is reviewed by a physician some of the terms can change or you know the basic information in the offer letter can completely change when provided more context uh, in the employment agreement 
So uh, if it gets to the point where the physician has signed the letter of intent and they think and they review the employment agreement and they say, you know what, this isn't for me, this is substantially different, I don't wanna go through with it, then don't go through with it. Don't sign the employment agreement, cordially let the employer know these are substantially different or not what I was expecting, and I'm not gonna go through with the contract. Uh, in that case, you just wash your hands of the situation and move on. Uh, <clears throat> there is almost no scenario that I've seen where an offer letter would be binding and, or enforceable in any way. I mean, I guess if there's language in there that states uh, there would be some kind of penalty for backing out of the offer letter, you know, to sometimes they would want to recoup the maybe costs of, a, you know, employing a physician recruiter, uh, the travel costs of bringing the physician out. Uh, you know, to do a site visit, that's very rare. Um, so uh, for the most part, these are just kind of, uh, you know, cursory documents that kind of, you know, you've come to terms on the big stuff and then the details are in the employment agreement. So I would say it is fine to sign an offer letter or a letter of intent from a physician if they're really interested in moving forward with the job. Uh, a scenario where they absolutely should not is if they're just fishing for different offers and they, they say, you know what, I'm just going to sign multiple letters of intent. And then once I review the agreements, then I'll make a decision. Uh, if you sign a letter of intent and then back out, uh, you had burned a bridge. That's just the reality of the situation. It is very unlikely you will ever have a chance of getting a job with that employer again. Uh, and it just, uh, you know, obviously it frustrates and the employer, when they're expecting a physician to come, they've stopped recruiting activities. And then the physician comes back and says, you know what, I'm not interested in this. This is why most employers will put deadlines on either. This is the deadline to sign the uh, letter of intent. And then once their physician's given the employment agreement, this is the deadline where we want you to either negotiate or sign the agreement. If you don't do it, then we're basically rescinding the offer and moving on. So uh, it's fine to sign the offer letter if you're truly interested in the job. If you're not certain, I would not sign it, uh, but it is not a binding document and you can move forward and, and not worry that you're kind of stuck it, uh, with the job that you're not happy with or the terms of a job that you're not happy with. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always uh, call my firm at the number listed below in the description, or you can reach us on our website, shellylaw.com, C-H-E-L-L-E law.com. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.